I'm going to install and flash an arch top window with field applied flanges. With field applied flanges there's often an open corner and to deal with that situation I'll take a piece of flex wrap, fold it back and pull off half of the release paper and adhere it to the head and the jam of the window. Pull off the second piece of release paper. And pull this down over the back side of the applied flanges to seal that open corner. First thing we're going to do is cut the opening out to install and flash the window. With an arch top window, the first cut is a level head cut, followed by the typical eye cut. Cut a vertical cut down the center, horizontal cut along the sill. And the last cut in the case of an arch top is I'll cut this home wrap out flush with the rough opening around the arch top. Then I'll fold these in and staple for the back side of the trimmer stud. Then I want to cut a head flat so I can deal with the head flashing details after I install the window. I'll fold this head flap up out of the way temporarily so I can apply the head flashing later. And we make our 45 degree angle typical cut and then a vertical cut that represents the spring line of this arch. After we've cut the home wrap, the next step is to apply the sill flashing. I'm using six inch flex wrap. And I'll peel off the release paper. And I'll eyeball the sides level to get a piece centered. And I want to apply this so that the back edge is flush with the interior of this rough sill. I work it right up to the corner. I don't want to stretch it into the corner. Then up the jams at least six inches. And I'll take a J roller, apply good solid pressure to get full contact on the sill and the jams. Now I'll flex the outside corners. A nice one piece seamless corner. And I'll flex out the other corner. And then I'll fold the vertical leg of the sill flashing down onto the wall surface. And once I've got a position, I'll take my J-roller again to apply good, even pressure and get full contact to the home rack. Next step is to apply sealant to the back side of the flange before installing the window using DuPont residential sealant and I'm going to apply an adequate bead of sealant to the jam flange, the arch top flange, and the second jam flange, but I'm going to leave the sill flange uncaulked. The next step is to install the window unit. I'm going to install it level and plumb and fasten it in place. After the window is installed, I install the jam flashing using 4 inch straight flash. And I'll get the top adhered just to hold it in place and then work my way down the window jam flange, gradually pulling the release paper off as I go. You want to make sure this jam flashing extends at least to the bottom of the sill flashing. I'll use a J-roller to get full contact onto the home wrap. I'll apply the second piece straight flash, jam flashing, on the other side of the window. Again, just making sure the top's in position. After I've applied the straight flash jam flashing, I'm going to take a piece of six inch flex wrap and roll it back up on itself. and 
pull off about four inches of the release paper. And I'll stick this just past the jam flashing. Get the end started. It's stuck. And then roll the flux wrap out around the arch radius past the jam flashing. And we want this head flashing to extend beyond the jam on both sides. And I'll take the J-roller, apply even pressure to get full contact. After we've installed the head flashing, I'll pull this temporary piece of tape off, fold it down over the opening, the head flap in place. I'll put short pieces along the arch top to seal the head flap down. And after the window is completely installed in flash, we'll come back and apply some DuPont window and door foam. It's a low expanding foam, and we'll apply it just in the cavity to seal the head and the jam. This is how to install and flash an arch top window with field applied flanges using flex wrap to deal with the arch top at the head flange.